What y'all think Jesus' race is? Matter of fact, I'm gonna make it easy for you. Come point at this picture right here. You too, sis. Come point at this picture and you tell me what color, which um, one of these men you think Jesus is. Point to who you think Jesus is on this sign. And we're gonna show you in the Bible who Jesus is. Who is Jesus on this sign? You say that's Jesus? Who you say Jesus is, sis? You think that one down there is Jesus? I'm trying to figure out, like, it kind of match. So my whole thing is, how many, like, how many times have you been here before? What is the relative answer? What is, which one is Jesus? I'm going to get the revelation of Jesus for you. I'm going to get the revelation of Jesus for you. This is the spirit right here. This is the spirit. I'm going to show you right now the revelation of Jesus. Read what you got. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So this is John the Revelator. He's on the Isle of Patmos. He's going to write. He documented what he saw. And this is the, the vision, the image of Jesus that he saw. Read. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the young sister, they said that top picture. So it said his hairs on his hair were white and woolly. Read what you got. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Sister, look at the brothers around you. Who has woolly hair on this planet? Out of all the nations of people on the face of this planet, who has woolly textured hair? You point to your sister and see? Woolly textured hair. We do. But this, is re this is revealing the image of Christ. All praise to the Most High. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. You see what they said? His feet are to fine brass. What color is brass? Like brown. Like brown. And then it said as if it burned in a furnace. So what is that telling you about Christ? Not only was he brown skin, but he was what? He, he, he had a nice, he had a nice. What do you say? They say he was white. Come here, come close now. I'm going to read that again. He got to read it again. Not white. So the sister said bronze is like a brown. You can't get, you can't get white out of brown. Read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Princesses, if you burn something, what color is going to turn? Black. So now it said Christ was brown, but then as it happens, it burned. So that means he's a dark-skinned man. He's a very dark-skinned man. So what did that let you know? That image down there is not depicted in the Bible. This image is what's depicted in the Bible. We're not saying this is who Christ is. We're just saying this is the closest depiction according to the Bible that's more accurate than that picture down there. Right. The Bible didn't say blonde hair and blue eyes. Right. The Bible didn't say stringy hair or goat hair. The Bible said woolly hair, like a sheep. That's right. That's who has wool. The Bible didn't describe that man. That man is described as the devil, because that's deceiving you. That's the enemy right there. This is the true image of Christ. So when you close your eyes, this is the image you need to see in your mind when you pray at night. More than likely, when you close your eyes and pray, if you pray, that's what you see. But this is the image you should be imagining in your mind. Imagine somebody that look like your father, or your grandfather, or your uncle. What do you say, young sister? What do you say? So, that, so what color is Christ, according to the Bible? That's right. That's right. Christ is a black man according to the Bible. And you're Israelites according to the Bible. That's you're right. one of God's chosen people. Now I'm going to go over some laws with y'all, alright? It's going to do the run. No, as a matter of fact, go to 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. We're going to go over modesty. Keep building on that, um, that nationality. The nationality? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's jump back. Um, hey, yeah, let's go out to the image of Christ. Hey, sister. Let's go out to the image of Christ. So I want to continue to build on the nationality of our people. Okay, no, matter of fact, go to Genesis chapter 49. How you doing? I want to continue to build on our nationality. Because I want to show you who we are according to the Bible. Because, no, matter of fact, I'm sorry. So to give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. I want to show y'all in the Bible. Did y'all know, this, what's this right here? What is this called right here? What's that called? I know they don't teach us in school no more because they're trying to take it out. Because they don't want you to know who you are. They don't want you to know your true identity. What's this right here? No. -uh. Not a cherubim. What's this? This is a ship right here. What happened to that man back? Look at that, that man. That man's back. Uh -huh. So what? What? What was this going on right here? Y'all ever heard of slavery? Young sisters, y'all heard of slavery? Are they teaching y'all this in school? What are they telling y'all? What are they teaching y'all in school about slavery? Are they telling you that's the beginning of your history? That's what they're telling y'all. Our, our history goes way before this right here. We're going to show you in the Bible how we know that we're the Israelites according to the Bible. So we're going to go into the curses, all right? Because God says he's going to give us a sign and a wonder. 
And those signs are things that's happening to our people. You. Young brother, young brother, what's your name, man? Juju. 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 Okay, Juju, we've been showing the young sisters right here, they nationality according to the Bible. And right here, us going into slavery, is biblical history, biblical prophecy. Did y'all know this happened even right here in Virginia? Did y'all know that? They didn't teach y'all that in the school. You right here in the state of Virginia, they didn't teach y'all Virginia was the gateway to slavery. James see? Oh, yes, yes, yes. See? They're not teaching us everything, but your history goes past it. We're going to show you in the Bible, this right here being prophesied in the Bible, all right? Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said, these people that didn't keep his laws, statutes, and commandments, we didn't listen and keep them, he said, these people were going to captivity. So we're going to show you with the curses who these people are. So this is how we identify our nationality in the Bible. Jump to verse 68. I want y'all to listen very carefully, all right? And as I'm reading this, look at your flyer. Look at this sign right here. Look at the slave chains. Listen to this scripture right here. This is how we identify our nationality in the Bible. Read what you got. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So God said he's going to bring us into Egypt again with ships. So you got to ask yourself, when we left Egypt, how did we leave out of Egypt? Do y'all know? Do y'all remember? Y'all ever seen the movie The Ten Commandments? I know y'all probably too young to see that. Since you ever seen the movie The Ten Commandments? No, I haven't. You haven't? Take that in and yeah, check it out. Check it out. So they have other nations, another nationality of people representing us, but that's not the true people. But what, I, what I, the importance is, I want you to know the story. The Lord used Moses to deliver us out of the land of Egypt. So we didn't take a boat out of Egypt. We walked out of Egypt. So God said, is he going to take us back into Egypt again with ships? So I have to show y'all what that word Egypt means. So hold this for me. Give me the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Because it's very important for you to understand what this word Egypt means in the Bible. Because we just read in Deuteronomy 26 day. God said, we'll walk out, we'll here, take us out of there with ships. Take us back to Egypt with ships. But how is that so if we walked out of Egypt? So what is God talking about? Read what you got. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So that's possessive. I am the Lord thy God. I'm the Lord your God. He's talking to a specific group of people that he's going to send into captivity. Read. Out of the house of bondage. Mm -hmm. So he said, out of the house of bondage. What's another word for bondage? Who knows? What you got? You smiling. What you got? I, I was thinking hard. I, had to, I was thinking hard. I got to say one more time. Yeah, keep going. Another word for bondage. What would your young sisters think? Young bro, what y'all think? What is bondage? When you got chains around your neck and around your wrists and around your ankles. What is that called? Look at this picture right here. I'm going to give you a clue. There's a sign right here. What is this called? We just talked about it earlier. This is slavery. No, nah, there ain't no jewelry. No, nah, well, there ain't no jewelry. We don't want to wear that for fun. This is slavery right here. So God said he's going to send us to slavery again with ships. What do we, how, do we, how did some of us get over here in America? On cargo slave ships. Because we're dealing with our tribe, man, the tribe of Judah, all right? All right, back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. This is the curse right here that happened to our people. So we're lining it all up. God's talking to a certain group of people. He said these people would go into slavery again with ships if they didn't listen to his laws, statutes, and commandments. Read what you got. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So he's going to bring us into slavery again with ships. By the way whereof I spoke unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So the place we were taken from, we won't see that land anymore again once we get over here in cargo slave ships. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You know what God said? God said we had enemies. Do y'all believe that? And I ain't talking about ops amongst your own people. God said we'll be sold into our enemies. So what does that look like right here in Virginia? During 1619. We were sold on auction blocks. Our, our, the, our brothers, our fathers, our sons, our mothers, our aunts, our daughters, our sisters, our sons. We were sold on auction blocks by our enemies. God sent these people to us to do this to us. So this is how we identify our nationality and who we are in the Bible according to the curses because of, we didn't follow God's laws. Continue to read. For bond men, for slave men, and bond women. And slave women. God said we'll be sold into our enemies for slave men and slave women. Read. 
and no man shall buy you. And God said, no man will buy you. So old Quaker term where nobody will be able to redeem you. Nobody will be able to save you. How many leaders have we had come up and we're still in the same conditions in this country? We had Martin Luther King, we had Malcolm X, we had the Black Panthers, we had the Brown Berets. Some people even believe Barack Obama had did something, but he didn't do anything but put us into a deeper, a deeper grave of sin. Nobody's come redeem us out of this captivity yet. Nobody. And you, look, you laugh because you know it's true, right? We still here in America. We're still subject to payments to people that rule over us. That's not our people. Bring it out. That's what the Bible is telling us. Right. So this is how we identify ourselves in the Bible as the tribe of Israel and this, as the nation of Israel in this land. And you all bear witness as the tribe of Judah. And this is what happened to Judah right here in America. We was carried captivity on cargo slave ships. I, I, this young man went up yet when I was asking about Christ. Come here, young man. I want to ask you something. I want, I, want you, I, want, I want to show you how important you are according to the Bible, all right? So would you call yourself, uh, what would you call yourself? Hispanic, Native American, black? What would you call yourself? Black? So do you think Christ would be a so-called black man like yourself, or you think Christ would be some other nation of people? You don't know what color Christ is? Come here. I want to show you a picture. You believe Christ? You believe that's the image of Christ? All praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. Have you been taught different from that? Have you been taught this what Christ looked like? Did somebody tell you that's what Jesus looked like at first? Who told you that? You you learned it on TV. Somebody in school told you that. They never told you that's Christ right there. Which one do you believe is Christ? And we're gonna show it to you in the Bible. You believe that's Christ? All praise to the Most High. You correct, young man. And we're gonna show you that in the Bible. All right. Give me all your revelations again. 1 and 14. Go straight to the point. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. So uh, come here. I want you to look at the, pick your fly up. Pick your fly up. I want you to look at this picture in color. Come here, young man. Look at this picture right here. Now we're going to describe, the, the Bible is going to describe Jesus Christ in the Bible. And I want you to look at this and tell me whatever I'm reading, does it match up with this right here, all right? So listen very carefully, like you do in school. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Does that picture have white woolly hair? All right, read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. You know what color brass is? Nope, brass. Not grass, not grass, but brass with a B. Brown. It's brown. So now it's, what color? Look at your skin. Look at my skin. What color is our skin? Your skin gray. You don't have gray skin. That's brown skin. Because the light, that's, our skin is brown. So it says like, it's like bronze, so it's like brown. Now, here how dark it is. I'm going to get you a question. And his feet like a fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So not only was it brown, it was real, it was real dark. You ever seen people that's real dark skin? That's how, that's the color he was. So you need to be proud of that and understand that's the importance, okay? By example, nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.